Sufyan al-Thawri rahimahullah ta'ala was from the tremendous of the tabi'een. Waqi' ibn al-Jarrah rahimahullah ta'ala he said on the day of Eid, Sufyan al-Thawri he said to us, إِنَّ أَوَّلَ مَا نَبْدَأُ بِهِ مِنْ يَوْمِنَا هَذَا غَضَ الْبَصَرِ The first thing we're going to start with is lowering our gaze. The first thing that we're going to start with is lowering our gaze. Why? Because they knew that if they can't control their eyes, it is going to corrupt their heart. And this is why Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he said regarding the statement of Allah قُلْ لِلْمُؤْمِنِينَ يَغُضُّ مِنْ أَبْصَارِهِمْ وَيَحْفَظُ فُرُوجُهُمْ Why did Allah Azza wa Jal say tell the believing men to lower his gaze and then safeguard your private part. Then after that safeguard your private part. The first thing that was mentioned was lowering their gaze. Why? Because if a person lowers his gaze it might reach a stage it might be impossible for a person to go to zina. How can a person that is blind Something that might not ever happen. It might happen, but it's very, very rare. A blind man now to go and commit zina. It starts with the eyes. Then it starts with the tongue, chirping, And then after that, the hand movement. And then the feet that walks to it. And all of this, the Prophet ﷺ told us, each part of the body here, zina al-aynayn al-nadar wa zina al-lisan al wa zina al-yad al-batshi wa zina al-qadam al-mashi. The zina of the eyes is looking. The zina of the tongue is chirping, talking. And the zina of the hand is what's stretching out to her and touching her. Or, she, or maybe walking around with her holding hands. And the zina of the feet is you walking to that girl. It is impossible for a person to do that act without actually looking. Hence why Ibn al-Qayyim rahimahullah ta'ala he said, Aslu asilin fi hifdi al-qalb. It is from the fundamentals of when it comes to safeguarding your heart. It is the fundamental. Aslu asilin. He never just said aslun. He said from even the fundamentals that we have, the origin of it is that one lowers his gaze and what happens? He ends up safeguarding his heart, preserving his heart if he lowers his gaze. And Hassan ibn Sinan, and we mentioned this again yesterday as well, when he went out on Eid, he came back, his wife said to him, how many beautiful women did you look at today? He goes out and he came back. How many beautiful women did you look at today? Something normal for the woman. She's very, very jealous. Saadi. She carried on, she carried on, she repeated it time and time again. فأكثر, عليه, as he came in the narration. He said, Ma kharajtu illa wa ana anduru fi ibhami wa rajatu wa ana andur fi. Ibhami. I never left the house except I was looking at my thumb. And I came back and I was looking at my thumb. So he left and he came back like that. Looking at his thumb. People might think you're crazy, but at the same time it takes one look. It takes one look for you to look at a girl that is very pretty. And the fact that you're constantly thinking about it. And it corrupts a person's heart.